Lightning 100, David Gray sailing away from a white ladder. It's just about five minutes past 12. It's your good friend, Lieutenant Dan, and I've got friends in the studio with me this afternoon. Looking forward to it for a while now. Got Matthew Perryman Jones, and you brought Nielsen Hubbard with you. I did. I, I had no idea you were going to bring him, and I'm really <laughs> excited to have him in, here in our, right. in our studios. Uh, congratulations, Matthew Perryman Jones, on uh, your CD release here. Thank Just, you. Uh, Thanks a lot. Coming out Tuesday. Is this uh, your, your second full length CD? Uh, well, it's actually my, technically my third, but technically the, the first your third. one was like years and years ago. Years so. ag- how, how many years ago? Well, I mean, it was, it was 2000, so it wasn't, you know, too terribly long, but eight years, that's a thats a little while. So Was was this the first project you worked with Nielsen Hubbard on? This is actually the second one. Second project. Yeah. And uh, you're a busy man. I see, uh, Nielsen, I see your, your credits show up all over the place, but it's the first time uh, you showed up uh, with a guest in the studio. Glad to be here. Well, there's just, there's so many great um, artists here in town. It's unbelievable. It's it, absolutely unbelievable. It really is. It's such an exciting time for independent artists and such a great community of them here in Nashville. And uh, I'm honored to to help shine the light a little bit on it as we've been uh, shining the light on you uh, this yeah, week on the local lightning uh, local lightning spotlight. But I definitely want to talk about you know what's going on here in Nashville and next big Nashville. I know you're going to yeah. be be part of that. But yeah. you got uh, the gear with you. Let's let's hear a tune, man. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, we'll do uh, save you. Let's uh, you guys have been kind of me to play that song so we'll just uh play this one here we go i want to rock and roll i want to give my soul i'm wanting to believe i'm not too old I don't want to make it up I don't want to let you down I want to fly away But I'm stuck on the ground And so help me decide Help me to of my mind Oh, wouldn't that save you? Wouldn't that save you? Wouldn't that save you? I watched it all go by Was it really true? Is that what it was? Was that Looking back again And I'm tracing back the thread Well, you said it was a mess Was it just in my head? Oh, and so help me decide Help me to Swing the bat It's too many years of dying Why is that?
Lightning 100. That's Matthew Perryman Jones live in our studios this afternoon. Getting help from Nielsen Hubbard on the keyboard there. Beautiful song. It's called Save You. It's a track three on Matthew Perryman Jones' new CD, Swallow the Sea. He's got his hometown show tomorrow night out at Exit Inn. It's an 18 and over show. It's doors going to open at 8.30 p.m. Tickets are only $8. You got to Ali. Is it Pedden or Peden? Peden. Peden, okay. Soon, soon to be... Alva Lee. I saw that. Yeah, yeah Alva Lee. I yeah. saw on the next big Nashville blurb yeah, that she's, uh, great. she's gonna go by uh, Alva Lee. And of course, uh, Trent Dabbs, yeah. who uh, you have the ten out of ten connection with. And Absolutely, um, yeah. I, I believe Nielsen, you've you've worked with uh, yeah, Trent. Yeah, worked with Trent like on those his first, first, um, first record, ever. Kelly Wingate records. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's great to have you guys here in the studio. Tell me a little bit about that song, uh, "Save You." Uh, have you have you had any success with that getting it in uh, TV or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, last year we got in a couple couple shows. Uh, one was a sh- is a show called Kyle X Y. It's kind of a, a younger teenagery <laughs> show, um, but it was great. It was kind of the end of this uh, this cliffhanger uh, last episode kind of deal. And then uh, on a show called Private Practice as well. So yeah. Been- what what does that mean for a guy like you when you know when you have that success when you when you're trying to get your song placed and it does sure. happen is it a big paycheck or um is yeah it promotional it exposure be, yeah definitely but it's it's a lot of exposure and you know the, the there's you know you've got these these folks that are big fans of these shows and they're already connected with the characters they're already connected with the show and if there's a song on there it tends to kind of i, I think it kind of just has a more immediate connection i think with with the with the uh, the fans of the show so it's really cool it's kind of a built-in music video really i mean it's kind of you know and it gets your music out to a front uh, in front of a lot of people so that's as, as awesome. an as an independent artist is it harder or easier for you to make that happen um I think nowadays, like with with TV, I th- I think a lot of supervisors are looking for independent artists. Um, mostly, I think because there's there's not as much red tape and having to place a song or license a song. So, so it's a real fortunate time for independent artists um, and TV. Kind of that whole marriage is is kind of working out nicely, really, because they're they're looking specifically for independent artists. Yeah, so it's great. 